This is Wyoming, my Wyoming, a small southeast corner of the least populated state in the country. I was born in Albany County and grew up in a log cabin my parents built in the mountains at 8,000 feet above sea level. During the school year, they drove me 35 miles every day into Laramie to attend elementary school, then junior high, and then high school. I'm now a senior at the University of Wyoming, finishing a degree in religious studies because I want to know what people believe and why they believe it. Sometimes I think what I believe in is Wyoming. Sometimes I think it's like a religion, with all the magnificence, promise, struggle, and illogic. I became involved with Feeding Laramie Valley and the Food Dignity Project because I'm a photographer. They needed a photographer, and I was sick of being a janitor at the rec center. That's all I knew about either project, and that's all I knew about what everyone kept telling me was a growing food movement in the country. A year later, with a hard drive stuffed full of pictures and thoughts about these projects about food, I've met people from all over the country and seen their work and their photographs about food. I know things about the place I grew up that I never thought about before, and how we survive and what we believe in has a lot to do with what we have access to. I'd like to introduce you to a small slice of Lamy, my Lamy, from west to east, as I entered it when I came down out of the mountains and saw it roll by me nearly every day of my life growing up, only now with thoughts of food and survival on my mind and through eyes that were beginning to understand how food and justice are all part of what each of us ends up believing. Well, West Laramie doesn't have a grocery store as a subway, three convenience stores, and a locally owned butcher shop. All of them huddled together before you drive under Interstate 80. Beyond this commercial strip, West Laramie is where the pavement ends and where the poorest of the elementary schools is located. It's where the city council allows most of the trailer parks, but not the multi-million dollar community rec center. East of the interstate, you pass famous Wyoming Territorial Prison, skirt the small Latino neighborhoods of the west side, and finally cross the railroad tracks that deposit you into downtown Laramie. On the high plains at 7,200 feet, positioned on the I-80 corridor, Laramie, Wyoming is better at receiving produce trucked in from long distances than it is for growing its own in a 56-day growing season in semi-arid conditions. Even the downtown Big Hollow Food Co-op receives its main shipments from Cisco. But we try. Laramie rests on a history of struggle. From Wild West outlaws to a tradition of cattle ranching, something else happens here because Laramie is the home to the only university in the state of Wyoming. Tradition is challenged and thinking expands. Every day, I see conflict happen between the university and the community, the land and the weather, the needs of the working people and the lofty goals of a privileged few. Sometimes we get it right. Laramie Valley used to grow lettuce and spinach and sell it out of state. Community elders remind us that families grew successful gardens all over town. Now, they help us do it again. Now, we have four community gardens and most of the schools have their own, even in West Laramie. We have Safeway, Albertsons, and Walmart. Some of the convenience stores sell bananas and apples. The food co-op sells tempeh, organic mushrooms, and Wyoming bison meat. We also have a farmer's market from July through September where food from Colorado and Utah counts as local. never really noticed the difference between what kind of food is available and how much it costs in various parts of Laramie until three of us started shopping in every store in town, carrying cameras and standardized shopping lists with us, and calling it research. From west to east, Laramie offers less and charges more in the poorer sections of town.
The more I learn about inequality and injustice, the more I learn about the hope and determination of my generation. For one thing, we're helping Laramie learn more about sharing. Not just leftovers or what we don't want, but the best of what we have. We're sharing stories of local food production, food distribution, food needs. We share gardening tips, volunteers, and food itself. Maybe all this research and learning and sharing will begin to add up. Maybe there's a way we can connect west to east, create a new, different, better way of feeding ourselves, each other all of Laramie Valley. Maybe we can figure out a way of being about food here that can become something equal, just, dignified, something to believe in. <laughs>